There's often a really close relationship between sleep problems and our mental health. And as a family doctor, I want to share with you two key things that I tell my patients. The first is lifestyle factors are key. How you live your life, healthy habits can impact your sleep. Today's video is more about the second thing, that's our mental health. And people who have mental health problems, they can have worse off sleep. And this video will help you identify if any of those things could be going on. It can often be a bit of a cycle. You're stressed and you're low, so you're gonna to struggle to go off to sleep that evening. The next morning, you're gonna feel absolutely knackered. You're gonna be tired. That means you're gonna to struggle to do your day-to-day -day activities, which probably leave most people feeling frustrated. And the cycle continues because if you're frustrated, probably gonna be stressed again, you're probably gonna be low again. So if that sounds familiar, Let's have a look at some of the key mental health things that can impact your sleep. The first one is stress, and I've been there myself. You get home from a long shift, you're still thinking, did I put that x-ray card out? Did the CT scan get done? Did I do those blood tests? You know, all those kind of thoughts could be going through your mind, and I often think stress is one of the key things that we have to consider when we're having sleep problems. I also see it as one of those things where sometimes people say, well, I'm not that stressed, you know, I do a, you know, this kind of job and it's and it's just a little bit of stress. It's almost like holding a cup. Here's a cliche coming through to you. If you're holding a cup for five minutes, it seems to be okay, but if you're holding this cup for a good 10 hours, I guarantee you that my arms are gonna be aching. I'll, within like 45 minutes, I think I'll be down. But what I mean is with stress, it can be long-term damaging to your body and we know it is so it's the same it can impact your sleep it can impact your mental health stress is one of the key things i talk about when people are having sleep problems when it comes to anxiety it's often racing repetitive thoughts that people have and it can be worrying thoughts that are keeping them awake so if somebody is thinking too much about their health or the health of their loved one that could be health anxiety if somebody's worried too much about what's going on tomorrow and they're anxious about every single step that's going to happen tomorrow that could be general anxiety so it is important to identify this but also people can have things like panic attacks and that could be a precursor and that could indicate anxiety as well. So if their heart rate's going up, if they're breathing heavily, if they are struggling to catch their breath and sitting up in the middle of the evening, those can all indicate panic and anxiety disorders. Wood freshening can go either way. So some people may sleep too much or their sleep pattern is broken. So they're sleeping long hours during the day and struggling to sleep at night. Or it can be that their sleep is completely broken at night or they have early morning waking. So with depression, it's a bit more tricky, but again, the sleep cycle is disturbed. There may be too little sleep or too much sleep. With something like PTSD, the sleep cycle could be actually disturbed because of flashbacks, night terrors, or the person may have difficulty falling asleep. It can also be interruptions in the sleep due to waking up. And that's one of the things we don't talk about that much. Sometimes if people go and sleep at 10 o'clock at night and waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, you kind of think, well, that's a good amount of sleep. But actually, if you're waking up multiple times in the middle of the night, that can really affect your sleep cycle. And it just means you're not refreshed when you wake up. When when it comes to paranoia or psychosis, people may often be paranoid that something might happen to them or they may be seeing or hearing things which can often be super, super frightening because it's real to them. That can often disrupt their sleep, break up their sleep cycle, and they can feel unrefreshed the next morning and the sleep problems continue. With bipolar, there could be two phases. The depressive phase will have sleep problems that are very similar to somebody who's depressed. But there's also this manic phase where the person feels elated, they have high energy levels, and they wanna get lots of things done, and often sleep is very last on the list of things they want to do. In this stage, people will often neglect sleep for many days at a time and feel absolutely exhausted. As well as the mental health problems we talked about, so can mental health medications. Certain medications can give you nightmares, give you sleep disturbance or insomnia. And people have noted that when they are weaning their medications down, their sleep can go a bit haywire. So please do speak to your doctor if that happens. The key take home today is that if you're having sleep problems, it's always important to look upstream to make sure there aren't things like mental health issues that are causing them. And if there are, please do seek the help of healthcare professionals to help you resolve those. Next week's video is actually about lifestyle factors and healthy habits that you could use to get your sleep better. And if you can't wait till next week, I've just done the blog post that that will be based on. So that will be all the information you need. I'll leave in the comments below. The question I have for you guys this week is, do you think that mental health problems cause sleep issues or do you think it's vice versa? 
one to ponder for you. I've been Dr. Khalid, and as always, you've been wonderful. Have a great day.